you see a pretty girl. You might be on even a date with her. And in your head, you're thinking, I wanna make sure she likes me. I wanna make sure she will eventually find me attractive. All of a sudden, you notice you're vibing. She's laughing. You're laughing. She moves closer to you. And you and her start casually flirting, and she lays her hand on your leg. Inside, you're saying, yes, this is working. Inside, you are naturally seducing her. And she starts holding your hand, and you hold hers. And at this point, you're like, she's definitely interested. Well, welcome back to my channel, because I'm going to tell you exactly how to seduce a woman. So this scenario that I just went over with you will happen to you instantly. And today I'm going to give you exactly that and tell you exactly how to attract this woman, just like my client Gabrielle did. And that story I just gave you. So take a moment, if this is your first time visiting, to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. Now, how you have to harness your energy is really important, and it's used in attraction, it's used in seduction, and really to attract the woman that you desire. So I wanna tell you exactly what this means. One is understand your own energy. The first step into seducing a woman is understanding who you are as a man first. Many times men don't really embrace who they are and they try to act as though they're somebody else when truly they have to be who they are and be comfortable with that. This is called inner confidence. So taking the time to get in touch with your own energy and learning how to control it as well, regulating it as well. This comes from meditation, journaling, personal development, reading books, being here on YouTube, always understanding that you are an evolving human and that you always are growing. Number two is be authentic. Authenticity is key when it comes to seduction. Don't try to be someone you're not. Don't try to be this Joe guy that you saw online. Don't try to be this Brian guy that you saw on TV. Be yourself because women love it when a man takes true ownership to his quirks, his silliness, his dad jokes even. It doesn't even matter. It's really about how you're embracing yourself. The true confidence comes from someone understanding not only who they are, but being able to embrace it and live fully in it. So being yourself and letting your unique energy shine through is ultimately what attracts women because it shows confidence, which will then lead to seduction. And we're going to go a little bit more into that too. But number three is be present. Being present in the moment is important when it comes to seduction. So paying attention to maybe what she's saying, how she's moving, um, the things that she might say that are less little flirts that are challenging you, bantering with you, and you're able to play with her back and forth. It's like this tennis match that the both of you are interacting with, with and you're engaging with her and you're showing her that you're interested at the same time with her and you're able to keep up. And number four, obviously, as we've been talking about so much, is confidence. Confidence is a powerful energy that is attractive to women. And confidence comes and goes. Not every day does a human wake up and we're like, we're confident today every single day. No, self-worth is something that is sustainable. Our worthiness is always inside of us. And if we lack our self-worth, we will always lack confidence because even though the most confident people sometimes don't even wake up confident every single day, we're not confident every single hour. What happens is, but we have the worth, we have the drive, we have the push, we have the knowledge, we have the determination under that, and we believe in ourselves. So when you believe in yourself and your abilities as well, then you will show her that you are a capable man to be right in front of her, and you're a confident man to be right in front of her, to seduce her naturally, and to be on that date with her. Number five is being assertive. Assertive miss does not mean to be controlling or to demand respect from someone. Assertiveness is a powerful energy that shows her that you are a leader. Many men get the assertiveness thing confused with like, if I take charge and make a decision in a domineering way, then that's assertiveness. Absolutely not. Assertiveness is not by saying, let me take my power back. That's ego. And so many times when we feel like we're disrespected or we feel like we are hurt inside because 
of an expectation not panning out the way that we wanted. Let's say you're on a date and the girl goes, you know, listen, like, I'm just not really feeling it. I'm really in a time of my life where I just don't want anything further. I enjoyed this time. And then you're like, then why did you get on this date with me in the first place? That's one, no emotional regulation. That is not assertiveness. That is a bunch of ego. And also too, that is someone that is not regulating their emotions and trying to be domineering in a way where your insecurities are showing because you feel as though you have to react like this because of the fact that there is something tied to her quote unquote rejection, even though it was the truth. So there was an expectation behind how you showed up on this date with a woman. So take charge and make decisions, yes, but not from a place where it's like, I have to tell someone what to do. Not a place of authority, but from a place of leadership, being abundant, wanting this to flow, engaging, having fun. Show her that you are a man who knows what he wants and not a scared to go after it. Number six is positive energy. This is so contagious. I talk about this so much with men and a lot of men actually struggle with this and just being positive around a woman. And it's not like you have to fake the positivity, but they think that, oh, I don't want to be too positive because that's annoying and all this stuff. And I'm like, absolutely not. Show her that you're a happy person and you have happiness in your life and you are a positive person because spreading good vibes will make her feel good too on the date. Duh. <laughs> so next is be passionate. Passion is a powerful energy that not only only is attractive to a woman, to people, but it also brings in other energies of other people and things to you. So when we are passionate about our life, about our goals, about our hobbies and things that matter to us, it shows you that you don't, it shows the other person, excuse me, that you don't lack clarity to the things that you want, deserve, and need. And don't have the expectation of anybody else fulfilling what you want, deserve, and need, but yourself. Next is also being adventurous. So take risk. Adventure and being adventurous is a really powerful energy and also is admirable because if someone is adventurous and you've done things in your life that you are, you think that you don't need to talk about. And let's just say that even so many of my guys that I work with have served in the military, the army, they don't really talk about this, but this is adventure as well in its own right, because not a lot of people know what it's like unless they've been through these services, right? So own that part of you, own the part of the guy that goes to salsa classes every week, own the guy that actually goes boating, goes fishing, uh, plays hockey, ice hockey every week, and it's on a league um, that likes to travel and go hiking. Own that part of you, own the adventurous part of you that likes to dive with sharks. I don't know, I love doing that. But where's the place where your adventure is? Find that place of inside of you if you have it. And if you don't have it, find it too. Go out there and get out of your comfort zone and find that. Because this naturally will show a woman that you are spontaneous, that you're exciting, and she could easily admire you if this is something that she wants to do. Because adventure shows her that you are a great guy and you like to have fun and you can be spontaneous. One of the biggest things I remember a client telling me after he worked with me is I wanted to be more spontaneous and he was dating this woman and he was on a road trip with her and they had a four hour road trip. And he was like, you know, I've always wanted to go to St. Augustine. I think it was, and it was two hours away. And he's like, I just want to go on this highway. Let's go to St. Augustine for two days. And she's like, really? And he's like, yeah, let's just do it. We'll find a hotel and just do it. And I just remember that. And he did it and they had the best time. And four months later, he had told me like after that time, she told him four months later, she'll always remember that because she told me she always wanted a man that was adventurous and that she admired that so much. And it really heightened their attraction. And now they're just in a great relationship, hopefully still. And that's really, really important. So I wanted to give you that example. Number nine is I think what we can call a lot of people call this mysterious, right? But mysterious can look a little, like a game a lot. So what I like to do say instead is be in a flow. Being in a flow is a powerful energy that is attractive to a woman. You want to keep her guessing on the notion of not trying to, oh, I'm not going to tell her that I like her. So I'm going to keep her guessing. No, you want to also be able to pace yourself 
and the attraction process so you can leave her wanting more and understand that it's not a game it's human behaviors humans are naturally attracted to things that we have to work for because we live in a world right now that's just so much and revolving around the revolving door of instant gratification and so typically the more that we get instant into relationships the more toxicity lives in there the more failure happens in our relationship so mystery means letting someone see your hand as you get to know them so many men go into relationships and they're like, I've never felt this way. So I'm going to show her all of my, my deck. It's like a poker game. You're going to show her all your cards, but why would you do that? Why? Because it's a gamble. You're in your assessing process of dating. You're vetting each other out in this process. There's no need to jump in, which I'm going to have a video all about. If you find yourself struggling with these kind of things, I would encourage you to apply to see if you can get a chance to work with me and my team in regards to just revamping your life introducing you to really good authentic seduction, getting long-term result, results and attracting the woman that you truly desire. I have plenty of testimonials that men that have worked with me, been in my programs, one-on-one -on -one with me, with my coaches and everything that have gotten truly, truly massive, massive results. So if this speaks to you and you want to find that woman that is out there, that high value woman that's for you, and you become more comfortable in the dating process and led directly to the right person, I want you to take the time to invest in you. You can click the link below and check it out. Apply to book a call with me and let's see if you're a good fit. Number 10 is let's be genuine. I think genuinity is so important, right? Because I noticed so many times, like I felt like men were trying to be some type of person. And what attracted me to my now husband when I dated him was he had such a genuine energy about him. Like he was just such a nice man. Like I remember when he smiled, he would smile with his eyes too. And it just made me feel so comfortable in his presence. And that is something you have to work for. You cannot fake it guys. So if you in your mind are trying to um, be controlling in some way, have expectations when you date. If you are trying to lead in your dating process as she needs to respect me, women need to respect. This is where your ego is going to get the best of you because a genuine man doesn't look at it like this. He looks at it as the women that are meant to be in my life will show me. And the women that aren't meant to be in my life will scatter out. And I'm okay with that. So no one owes you anything but an opportunity. And if the opportunity has not met your needs or you haven't met the needs of the other person's opportunity, then move on. Part of being genuine is showing her that you are real and she'll be more likely to be attracted to you and your energy as well. So in regards to these tips, these are the 10 tips on how to seduce her with your energy. Remember this though, understanding someone's energy, being authentic, being present, being confident, being assertive, being positive, being passionate, being an adventurous, being mysterious, what I call in flow and having genuinity is a key factor that will make you attractive to everything in life, not just women. I teach my men abundance and long-term attraction. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And also too, it's important to remember that seduction is not about manipulation. It is about being attractive and authentic within yourself first. And also in order to find the right person that you are comfortable and interested in. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure that you click the subscribe button and also click the bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. And thank you for watching because right over here, I have another video all about the psychology of love that I would encourage you to watch next. See you soon.